So is it really my job as a Christian to go around and correct my brothers and sisters in Christ every time they do something wrong? Good question. And it's coming up next on Pastor Bob Daly. Well, you know, a lot of people have kind of appointed themselves as the keeper of the body. Those people that have decided that they have the truth, they know that we all need correction, and it's up to them to go around and correct everybody. And there are some people that I know that, well, no matter what I post, no matter what it is, they're going to have a correction for me. That's just what they do. Now, I appreciate that to a degree. Well, some people, it gets kind of old. And I wonder why we feel like it's so important. You know, there's a discussion method that I've used for many, many, many years now called Socratic discussion. It comes from the word Socrates. And Socrates believed, actually, that if you lead a discussion, if you steer it, and you let people talk it through, that they will arrive at the right conclusions. But when they do, it's not because you've told them, but it's because they've discovered it. And the difference is that when they discover it, they own it. When they're simply listening to you, you own it and they probably won't retain it. So that's a big deal in discussions. It's also a big deal in life. You know, I've had the opportunity to uh, to mentor a whole lot of people. I love it, I really do love it. I love being involved in people's lives. But I understand as a mentor that it's really not up to me to correct people over and over again. It's up to me to help them to learn, to help them to grow. If I keep correcting them, they don't understand the foundations or the principles. So I probably ask more questions than I do give answers. and. It's for a reason, because if people know the right questions, they can come up with the answers most of the time. You see, living the Christian life is understanding its principles, understanding its foundations. If I'm simply correcting a conclusion, I've never gotten to the root of the problem. I've never helped them to think it through. And what I have to do is back way up and say, you know, this really isn't about this particular situation. It's about the foundations of thinking, the foundations of our faith, and knowing what is true and what is not. And so the best thing I can do is encourage each other. Encourage the people that I'm talking to. And instead of correcting them all the time, to go up and make sure that there are principles that they're learning, but to encourage them in it and let them discover the answers themselves. It may be saying, you know, Let's talk about your answer on this one. I'm curious how you arrived at this conclusion. And question and question and question. And, you know, if you tell people it's okay if you're wrong, it's okay if I'm wrong, let's discover it together. When you do that, it isn't one person correcting it's another. It's both people encouraging one another. Now, let me tell you that I've probably learned just as much or more from the people that I've mentored than they have. Because I've mentored some really sharp people. People that, well, every time I, I think I'm right, and I usually am, just kidding. But a lot of times when I think I'm right, I listen to them talk and I think, you know, they've got a really good point. And I realize I'm never finished learning that's the greatest thing. We continue to learn together. So don't be so quick to correct. Don't be so quick to jump on each other and say, you know, you're wrong, I'm right, all of that. Let's do more discussing. Let's do more challenging. Let's ask more questions. And let's leave the door open to maybe even, well, learning something yourself. Because that's really, ultimately, what it's all about. God bless you. Have a great day.